What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Raps. So if you enjoy the videos that I'm doing, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget the subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos or you guys want to see videos on how to do installations or you know just me doing product demos and stuff like that. I do have some more products on the way for, uh, for me to demo something new. I have some cheetah wrap film coming. So I'm gonna be demoing some of that. A lot of you have been asking. So what I want to talk about today is uh, this car right here. And this car is here, it was here for a full rewrap. It was wrapped in Vivid's satin white gold chrome. Pretty sure it's what it's called, like a champagne sort of color. Uh, there was some small areas that were failing and you know, I didn't have any extra film. So I had to, we, we ordered more film for the warranty and it didn't match. So there's a different dial lot number. And so the whole, basically, the front bumper would have been a different color if I were to rewrap it and that would look kind of silly. So I just offered to rewrap the whole car. Uh, did I have to do that? Probably not, but I did. Uh, I could have probably thrown in some gloss black inserts or a little bit of some black accents in the bottom there. Now this car is a red car, so it's a very, very thorough process when it comes to wrapping a car like this. You gotta go extra deep into the recesses, into the cracks and stuff like that. Uh, it does require a little bit more attention when it comes to covering red with any color basically other than being red for example so it's just going to be a lot of work again this car has been here for a few days now and uh, did uh, the absolute best job that i possibly could and it turned out very good uh, other than the bumpers so this this car was here about a month and a half ago and the bumpers the paint peeled off the bumpers when it came time for removal of the old wrap so what happened was is the front and rear bumpers had been resprayed and they had been resprayed as a brand new car. So the owner bought this car brand new. Now I could tell that this bumpers, these bumpers had been resprayed because I have I noticed paint runs. And paint runs are not common at all, if if ever, from factory. So what happens is is during transport, sometimes cars, when they're being transported, can get damaged. Now, is it going to be claimed as an accident? No, it's not. Hyundai, which is this brand right here, is going to take it to one of their approved facilities and they're going to get the bumpers resprayed. Now, the approved facility didn't do a very good job if that's where they took it. And if it is OEM, then it was a terrible job to begin with. So again, I'm pretty certain because I could see that the front bumper had some blending in it also that this was resprayed. Okay. It was not an original factory finish. If it had been, then it would be it wouldn't have come off, it would, the paint wouldn't have come off. Now I have a Hyundai too, I have the exact same car and I know my front bumper has very, very minor paint coming off of it, if any at all, and I've removed, I wrapped my car nine or 10 times now and I've removed chrome and all kinds of different finishes from my car and it's got very minor bits coming off, but again, that's because I've wrapped it so many times. So the car, the bumpers were sent in for respray. Now they, the job could have been a lot better for sure. There's a lot of particles of dirt in the bumpers and I will put videos you're gonna see right now. I'm gonna. Uh, roll some videos of the video that I took of the bumpers and the particles of debris and dirt that are embedded in there. They also didn't mask off certain parts that they should have so they've painted over some black trim pieces and stuff like that on the bumpers which should have remained black. So there's a textured finish to those plastics and what happens is now if I were to wrap those plastics what could happen is if I start to peel off that wrap later on down the road it's the paint is probably not going to stick very well to that area and it could actually peel the paint off the rest of the bumper because it's going to keep following all the way through. So that's another bummer. So again, repainting, sometimes you have to do it. We had to do it uh, in order to rewrap the car. So, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you kind of get what you pay for when it comes to stuff like that. And, and it's always very important to actually have a very good look around the vehicle itself, especially when you're buying a brand new car. You know, apparently this was on the showroom floor. It's on the showroom floor because they put it out there and you know you wouldn't question anything that was on the showroom floor you know reverse psychology kind of thing right so let's go around and have a look at the car and i will point out some things again anything that uh, i used to do this installation will be posted in the description below i'm going to show you a couple of inlays so i have an inlay to avoid lifting i have an inlay right in here up top first and you can kind of see the seam slightly right there Again, that is, this is a very, very deep recess. So if we look at this area right here, we're getting into like 60% stretch. So our high point is only like, our high points are like right here. And so we're actually, 
going to be stretching the film quite a bit if we were to just stretch it all the way in there. So we have to put a relief cut and do an inlay in there. Uh, they've asked me to leave, see that part right there that's red? They've asked me to leave that area red uh, because that was one of the areas that wasn't supposed to be resprayed. And each one of those little, those little prongs there that hold that front lip on are, uh, they're, they're uh, meant to be black actually. So those were painted as well, but I wrapped them because they're really small pieces and it just looks better. So, but I think they're going to put some plastic dip on that red area or something. They're going to do something with it, but they said to leave it. All right, same inlay on this side. Now, because the mirrors need seams, I did do the full mirror in gloss black, and then we did it kind of like I did my mirrors on my car, where we did the top piece to match the car itself. It looks, that's my, it's my favorite look actually. So let's go get a full front. That's my favorite. Roof was already gloss black, so I left it. I didn't have to rewrap it. We got our door handles here. Door jams are also wrapped in gloss black. And then for the bumper, you're gonna see the rear one was the worst actually. And these guys didn't even actually push the sensor back in properly. So I couldn't reach them. So I'm gonna give them, they're gonna take it back to the shop, get them to fix the sensors up. I didn't want to remove the bumper in case uh, the shop had caused some damage to it or these sensors are damaged. I don't want to be held liable. So remember, to, it's always important to kind of cover your butt and you know, don't take on something if you're concerned that it, it, might be, it might cause you a problem down the road. But the finish on this is really nice. You can see it. It's got a super, super nice sleek finish. This is not air bubble. This is dirt again. And there's also there's dirt right here under the wrap. There's dirt. Sorry, it's not dirt under the wrap. It's dirt in the paint. And I'll post a picture there for you guys. There's all kinds of debris right on the backside here. And I showed this to the customer when the car came here last after the bumpers had been resprayed. And I asked them to get it fixed, but they didn't want to. So uh, all, all in there too. It's all just embedded in the paint itself. You can see them, right? here too, right? Uh, otherwise, yeah, sensors wrapped separately. And there's, let's see if you can see on this angle here, there's no light back here. But yeah, there's all kinds of debris in the bumper. Again, yeah, nothing I can do about that. So when it comes to being thorough, we obviously we have to make sure we got as much coverage as possible, right? So all in there, all in there. See a little bit that I got to trim off there. Let's check out the door jam on this side as well. So again, this car is red because you can see right in there that the car is red. Now that's behind the fender. And I think all in all, the car still looks great. That's pretty much it, guys. So. Like I said, it could have come out a little bit smoother, a little bit nicer, but again, it is what it is. And uh, you know, the finish in the car still looks great. Guys, if you like the video again, don't forget to thumbs up. And if you guys want to see some more videos, don't forget that subscribe button. I've got a lot of products coming for, for testing and I've got some pretty, pretty unique video ideas on the way. And that's pretty much otherwise I'm going to be taking a vacation for about four weeks, two weeks here, two weeks there. So it's, I'm going to be taking a vacation until about January. I do have a little bit of work to do in between then, so I do have one wrap in between then, and that's about it, guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Take care.